What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to do a best class setup for the AK-47, which I feel is one of the better weapons in the game, but the problem is you don't unlock it. It's the last AR you unlock, and of course it does go to level 68. As you can see, mine is finished here, but it does take a long time to rank everything up on it. But as everything else is starting to kind of get nerfed down, the AK has not been touched yet, so the AK is still a very much standout weapon in my opinion. I want to show you two different class setups today that I like to use. They don't vary much in different or kind of different uh, variations of this same setup you see right here. But first of all, we're going to go with the muzzle, which is going to give you recoil control. Of course, it's going to be aim down sight speed and aiming stability speed is going to be the cons of this. But the recoil on this weapon is pretty hard, so I like to run a lot of recoil control on it. That way it's easier to hit targets at range, especially if they're moving. Uh, when it goes with the barrel, I like to go with the 23-inch RPK barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Of course, the cons are aim down sight and movement speed. Here is where I change it up a good bit. You can go with the sight, and I have been trying to unlock different sights and things. But as you can see, the way this is set up, the mobility is a little decreased. So if you would like to drop the sight, which I usually do unless I'm trying to unlock different sights within the game, I usually slap the skeletal stock on. The skeletal stock will bump up that mobility. So you look down there in kind of the stats, you will not see that mobility decrease. You'll be kind of evened back out. The reason I like the skeletal stock, this is the only AR that this is uh, that this is available for in game so far. This is aim, walking, movement speed. Movement speed and aim down sight speed are all the pros. The con is aim down sight stability, which I can definitely deal with. But if you would like to go with a sight, like I said, that is perfectly fine as well. Any sight that you want, you can slap on here. Uh, when it comes to grip, I go with the Ranger foregrip. Now, the Commando foregrip is also very good. The Commando foregrip is recoil stabilization, aiming stability, and only movement speed is the con. The Ranger foregrip is recoil control, aiming stability, but aim walking movement speed and aiming down sight speeds are the con. I like the look of the Ranger foregrip, but the Commando foregrip with a compensator is very good as well. It's whichever one that you prefer to use. And last but not least, I go with the rubberized grip tape, which is recoil control and aim down sight stability. Like, like I said, guys, you kind of can see what I'm going for here. I'm going for more control, more accuracy, more range. And with the, uh, with the AK, three bullets to the chest is all you need. So you can definitely do a lot of damage. You don't need any extra clips or anything like that, in my opinion. Now, all I do for this, for the other class setup, is drop the optic, drop the muzzle, put on the skeletal stock that we just talked about, and put on the monolithic suppressor. Now, the monolithic suppressor, of course, is sound suppression, damage range, aim down sight speed decrease, and aim walking steadiness. That is the reason I put on the skeletal stock with the monolithic suppressor, because if you have just a side on with this, you're going to see that you're going to have a good bit of mobility decrease. If you have the skeletal stock on, that mobility decrease is minimal. Pretty much everything else is going to be the same. And this class, I do like a whole lot. If you can get used to the iron sights of the AK, this is a, a pretty brutal class. And with that suppressor on, a lot of that muzzle flash disappears. And this gun becomes a lot easier to hit people at range, moving even with the iron sights. It almost is kind of like a laser. Of course, it still has some recoil. You still have to tap fire it. But with that suppressor on there, you don't notice a lot of that muzzle flash. And it makes it a lot easier to hit targets at long range. Even in ground war, I can run around with this setup and do very well. Now, when it comes to perks, it's going to depend on what I'm playing. As you guys know, I always run EOD, Ghost, and uh, Tune Up when I play anything that's not Ground War. When I play Ground War, you can see I run Kill Chain, Tracker, Tracker, and EOD. The reason for Kill Chain is I can kill, uh, get, you know, my, get my cruise missile, get a couple kills with it, have the VTOL, get a couple kills with the VTOL, then I'll have the AC-130. So the Kill Chain is just chaining all your kill streaks together. Run things that you know you can get consistently. I usually can always get at least one AC-130, if not two, per game in Ground War, which is very handy in my opinion. And when it comes to Tracker, the reason I run it for Ground War specific is it's hard to hear footsteps in Ground War. There's a lot of noise going on. I turn my volume way down when I play Ground War, or unless you want to go deaf. You know, it's just ear-piercing. I like Tracker because if I lose someone, I can kind of see where they have gone, if they're close to me, if they go around a corner and hide or whatever the case may be. That way I won't get caught off guard. Anyway, guys, I hope these kind of give you some ideas of things you could run. Also, in Ground War, you could slap on the uh, slap on the launcher. I usually run the RPG, preferably, in Ground War just for tanks. But it's kind of whatever you want for that secondary. That's all just personal preference. I hope this kind of gives you some ideas for the, to use for the AK. Like I said, I know it's the, one of the last weapons you unlock in the assault rifle category. That's another one of those guns that's going to take forever to rank up. But I think 
overall is definitely worth it because it is one of the better weapons in game right now in my opinion of course guys if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so share the video if you can it does help out the channel a lot of course click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live and if you would like you can check out the new affiliate here on the channel gt racing they sell gaming chairs and office chairs all their information is linked down in the description and i'll catch you all next time peace